Hey, Jerry Terry Decathlon, Tiny Homes, here to give you a full video tour of Penelope. This is a 32-foot Athena model, and we are here at the Colorado Tiny House Festival in Brighton, Colorado. And April, what do we got here? Is this uh, pure white? No, it's extra white. It's extra white. Yes. Of course it is, okay. Black trim, yeah? Black trim is caviar. Caviar, and we have the black stain, stain. on the front cedar accent, right? Yep. So we have, you can see we have the double gable upgrade here. When you walk inside, you'll see that the gable goes all the way through the house. And uh, you'll see the F-Wave uh, black uh, shingles on there. So why don't we go ahead and come on inside? And you'll see this is beautifully staged for the show by April, the designer of Decathlon Tiny House. So why don't we start over here, huh, April, in the bedroom? Yes. So we do have our, uh, this is our Athena model, so we have our barn door here for the bedroom, and we want to peek inside to see the queen uh, mattress and wardrobe with the big giant drawers up under the uh, bed there. And what do we got on this cabinet, caller April? We have iron ore. Iron ore? Oh my. Like me some iron ore. Now, you know, I'm in the living area, look you know, how kind of far away I am right now, right? So this living area is huge. This is a 32 foot Athena, so eight feet longer than our 24 Athena. So most of that space ended up here in the living room. April's kind of staged this up for you. Uh, so the floor, so what is this here, April? This is a chevron pattern by Life Proof. Chevron pattern, love it. Don't love installing it, but yeah, <laughs> you do what you gotta do, all right? So here's the inside of the double gable that you saw walking in. We did the black cedar accent on that on each side. And you also, if you do this upgrade, you get two extra little windows, you know, the one and a half and one and a half picture windows just helps kind of the, uh, you know, the light kind of cross through it. It makes the house feel very, very large. Did you get the gold fan? All right. <laughs> My favorite thing in the house, I think. So then we got our crystal fandelier going on here, right? Right in the middle of the double gable. Uh, then we got some kitchen awesomeness. So we got the, uh, the stone and April came up with this gorgeous backsplash here, little gold and blacks and whatever that is. It's gorgeous is what it is. So we did the over sink shelves here. We have the, uh, the microwave convection and air fryer combination unit. We have the fridge that April drove 10 hours round trip to get because they failed on our order. The IO white, which is absolutely gorgeous. We got a couple pullouts here, okay? So that is just helpful for space. As you come, oh, the gold sink. Let's not miss the gold sink yeah. and gold fixtures. This is a workstation sink. We're gonna do some work on here. You can dry dishes. So it's a very, very useful. Then we got the two burner cooktop. Uh, we got a pantry for the kitchen as well. And just FYI, these do roll all the way back. So the doors do roll all the way into the bathroom if you wanna have a little extra space to work there. And then this is just a closet here. And we can design these closets any way you want, but we just went pantry closet because it just it just made sense for the build. So kind of the storage loft is up there, okay? The ladder that you is by the door is there. Now we're in the bathroom. So we have this, uh, I don't even know what you call this. It's a beautiful sink is what it is. Thank you. Yeah, with the gold fixture. Okay, we got the washer dryer combo unit, did the stone countertop here as well. 30 gallon hot water here is under here. Uh, full flush uh, toilet. And April decided to go with a mirror. So we went with the standard now. We do this for a mirror wall rather than a two window. It's just working out better that way. Little medicine cabinet going on. Okay. And then, of course, we have the shower. The butterfly doors are absolutely awesome. And they close really well. And that has been Penelope here at Colorado Tiny House Festival. And I will say goodbye. Hey, Jerry Terry Decathlon Tiny Homes here, and today doing a walkthrough of Lucille. Now, this is a 24-foot uh, Zeus model, so this is loft sleeping with a downstairs uh, living area and a pretty large kitchen. So, you kind of take a look at the uh, the color scheme here. Uh, she went ahead and went with the stained cedar on the tr on the window trim, uh, but still the LP Smart siding and paint uh, on the uh, on the siding. So. And the, it was this laughing orange, I believe. Laughing orange door. All right, laughing orange. Awesome. So come on in here to the Zeus. And as you see, as you walk in, you have your main living space uh, here. 
uh, where your camera location, where you, the viewer, are looking from is typically where like the couch would be. A lot of time, a lot of our customers have put the TV kind of up in this space over here, and you have a nice little shelf there. So coming through the Lucille here, a lot of really unique uh, color schemes and uh, that uh, April and the customer worked on uh, together. So you can kind of see the uh, unique set of uh, handles on the cabinets. A really nice size kitchen, farm sink, uh, full range on this model here. Uh, and then the cabinet colors uh, were custom uh, chosen by, by the customer. Uh, for the stair, you can see the stair risers, another matching the handles uh, that they worked together to create that. Uh, nice oak, oak treads, uh, a nice very solid stained railing which is going absolutely nowhere. Uh, we have the full set of stair uh, drawers, so all of your, and one really nice big one at the bottom here. So your entire stairs are drawers. Uh, she went with a nice, uh, really cool, the, uh, the Galans uh, fridge. They come in some really cool colors, so we're kind of excited when we put these in. They look really cool. They're a tick smaller than our standard fridge. You can kind of see there's a little extra space there, but they do look really cool, and you can only get that look with that brand. Uh, looking up to the, well, looking over to the bathroom, so here we have... Um, these closets, I'll let the camera come through here. So come on through so we can look at the closets. So the closets here, these are meant to be closets, not a pantry, because the, the Zeus has a lot of space already in the kitchen. So, but these are huge. Look at the size of the, look at the size of the closet. It's two and a half feet. I mean, they're just massive. So two really, really massive uh, closets. And we put the uh, closet bar in there. So you got the same closet on this side here. And then the bathroom, uh, this bathroom here in Lucille is a little bit unique. Uh, she was able to salvage from her home that she can no longer live in her uh, vanity. So instead of doing our standard vanity, we put her uh, existing vanity in and we just built some connecting shelving and pieces so that everything kind of fit together there. So, and then we have a nice little medicine cabinet here on the side and the uh, washer dryer combo unit. Under here, what you're looking at, uh, this cabin is the water heater, 30 gallon hot water heater, uh, and then the toilet and the shower. And then as far as the uh, loft is concerned, as we come on out with me and take a look back up at the loft, she also had me uh, put in the, um, some neat uh, kind of shelving for trinkets. She, she just kind of, the, uh, the, the idea was to be able to put trinkets in some things, you know, uh, above the loft um, uh, 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 railing here. So we did this and trinkets. So, well not yet, but there will be trinkets. So, the, uh, then up here in the loft we have the, um, you know, nice, uh, easily fitting a queen size bed up here. And then we have uh, the sconce on each side. So. You have your switch on each side for the main light, and then you have a dimmable, a dimmable sconce uh, for each person if the mattress is in the center. This is your egress window here, and they did go ahead and add a skylight in the loft, so it's very comfortable up here, and uh, there shall be trinkets right over there. So a uh, really, uh, really neat build. We're excited to deliver uh, later this afternoon, and thank you for watching. Hey, Jerry Terry Decathlon Tiny Homes here. We are at the San Diego Tiny Fest show. So if you wanna come see us uh, over the weekend here, please do. Uh, we'd like to go show you a video tour of uh, Neo. Uh, this house is named Neo. It is a Poseidon model, 32 feet long, eight and a half feet wide. And uh, come on inside. All right, so as you, uh, as you enter the house, you have your living space over here. And we have this staged as uh, many of our customers uh, lay it out with the couch uh, over here. Uh, we have a nice uh, TV area. You can go as large as 60 inch TV on this wall if you'd like. We just put a smaller TV up uh, here for the show. Uh, you could put a desk, table, uh, you could basically use this space any way uh, that you'd like. And if you turn around this way, uh, the kitchen area is over here on the left side of the house. So this house has a quartz uh, countertop uh, with a tile backsplash. Uh, we have uh, steel gray modern masters uh, paint 
is on uh, these cabinets here. You have a nice window, you know, in front of your, uh, in front of the sink here, along with uh, an extra light for uh, for uh, when you're using your sink. Uh, this house features a faux tile, faux tile steam oven. So nice, uh, spacious uh, oven here. Uh, and look how uh, sleek that faux tile looks. This looks gorgeous. And then your two burner cooktop. And this is a microwave convection combo unit. So this is both a microwave and a convection oven. So that's an upgrade you can put in any of our homes. Uh, we do have it here in this particular model, uh, Neo. Uh, then if we come up into the loft here, the stairs are very, 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 very solid rally. Okay, and a nice, uh, oh, it's over two feet wide on the stairs, so very comfortable. I'm about 220 pounds, so that uh, very easy for uh, even a larger person to get up here. And if you could take a look at the loft, we have this staged as uh, two twin mattresses. Oop, I shut the lights off. We have this staged as two twin mattresses. Uh, you can de very, very easily fit a queen mattress up here if you don't want it uh, laid out this way. You can use the space any way you'd like. But as you can see, I'm sitting at the top of the stairs. Uh, I'm 5'11", and there's plenty of clearance here. If we head back down. All right, you'll notice the uh, we have two uh, HVAC blowers in the house. So there's one out here on a separate controller that does this main area here. And if you peek all the way through to the bedroom, which I'll show you later, there's another HVAC blower. As we walk this way, the stairs are full uh, drawers and cabinets here. Okay, so you have a lot, a lot of space under the stairs for use. Of course, you have your your fridge here. Walking into the bathroom, uh, this uh, in this cabinet is the the water heater tank. It's a 30 gallon water heater tank. You can upgrade to a tankless, leaving this space open. So that is an option, not on this house. Uh, then we have the washer dryer combo unit here. Again, we did the quartz also in the bathroom with a nice uh, mirror hanging over the window. Again, two windows in the bathroom as well, okay? Uh, this is a full flush, regular dual flush toilet. And then we have the three by three uh, shower with, uh, with the shower curtain rod. And as we work through to the bedroom, so our Poseidon model the, really started with doing a private downstairs master bedroom. So this is a queen size mattress that you're seeing right here. Uh, this is uh, fully enclosed. We insulated the wall between the bedroom and the loft, and we went ahead and hung a TV up there, so you can see that that's possible. Uh, in your master bedroom, we have two nice closets. We have a three-foot closet here, three-foot closet here, and then there's a two-foot closet on that side. So two nice-sized closets in the master. Again, two windows in the master, and a ni this nice vaulted ceiling here where you really feel like you're in a master bedroom. So we went ahead and put a skylight in this model as well, along with a ceiling fan here in the bedroom. And that is the master. And you can kind of follow me out here and just feel how, how spacious this house is. And this is Neo, our Poseidon model, here at the San Diego Tiny Fest.